Alrighty, what's going on guys? Here I'm going to do a live recorded battle and it looks like I'm going to get Ruffle Stomp because I have, um, wow, this is an interesting opponent. This is one of my, I think this is Zero from Twitter actually, and he is using an all, well, you know, Latios is an Ubers. Man, um, my best lead off against all of these guys is going to be I think Ambipom is going to be my best bet, actually, just because I can use Fake Out here. Um, Ambipom is going to be extremely important in this battle, because he's probably going to lead out with uh, his Darkrai, which sucks, but you know, that's how that is. Alrighty, let's give it a shot. This is going to suck. I'm probably going to get Raffle Stomped, but I wanted to see how recording some more live footage kind of went for you all. So my team is all Fortune Pokemon. I, I'm, I was preparing for a battle with Chewy or Mike Hobbs on Twitter. And so I have Electivire, Togekiss, Drapion, Ambipom, Torterra, uh, and um, I'm missing someone, but yeah. So let's see. Yeah, here we're just gonna fake out, which he's probably expecting. But this is a this is one of those annoying ambipoms that has fake out and last resort. So we're just gonna fake out. He's probably just gonna set up stealth rocks. I don't think he's gonna do anything else. But I need ambipom really, really badly. So we're going to go ahead and switch out in case he uses a psychic attack to drag me on. Setting up toxic spikes will be really useful this battle. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, he might also have... I don't know what else he might use, actually. This is a defensive Drapion. He's going for Reflect. Damn it. I actually may have been able to go ahead and kill him with the last resort. That's okay, though. He might have Taunt. We're just going to knock off. I have no reason not to. I could set up Toxic Spikes, but I have to get some pressure going. I have to knock off some of his items ASAP. And if he stays in, I'll kill him, even through the Reflect. Hopefully. I believe. Speed form is not known for its ability to take hits, but this is, like I said, a defensive Drapion. Drapion, of course, having dark and um, uh, poison typing is only weak to ground type moves, even with the addition of fairy types. Now fairy would just do neutral damage to him. Okay, he has light clay. Awesome. That was actually pretty good to get rid of. Um, let's go ahead and set up some toxic spices. Now I think he's going to attack me. Okay, no, he's just setting up light screen. I don't think he has even get rid of my entry hazards either. Um, yeah, and his he does have. Um, I think he had Rayquaza, which wasn't grounded, so that's you know that's the thing. Um, but getting up Toxic Spikes is going to be pretty crucial here. Okay, he does have Taunt. Damn it! Oh well. At least I got up the first layer, which is pretty important there. And also, I'm um, nicely stalling out his screens right now, which is pretty fun as well. Let's just go for Crunch. Hopefully he doesn't switch out right here. He just sets up something else. Although he, I don't think he has anything else set up. He set up, he might, let's see, light screen, reflect. Wow, so I don't actually know how that works with my recording. I got a phone call in the middle of the recording and so it cut off my camera. And that's why recording with your iPhone sucks. But basically, um, he went ahead and went for the uh, high jump kick as I went into Togekiss, which is specs. Got the speed boost. Fortunately, the poison is racking up some damage, so I may be able to revenge kill him with Ambipom. Um, I think I am going to lose my Togekiss here, though, unfortunately. I don't think there's anything I can do about what he's doing. Um, he's probably just going to go for the Flare Blitz, and I have absolutely nothing to take that with. Hmm. I'm probably going to lose this, but I still want to give him, you know, a, a run for his money. Yeah, we'll just go for the Air Slash to keep him honest. 
There's the flare blitz. Yep. I could have gone in the Gastrodon. Uh, I really want to use this Gastrodon, by the way. It's a Gastrodon that has counter, which I was very happy to get from Renato. Uh, I've always wanted to breed Gastrodon with counter. I just haven't gotten around to doing it, really. Um, okay, yeah, he's definitely in range for uh, the fake out to KO him now. And he's probably going to switch out, but that's okay. I don't want him in here anyway. So we're going to go back on the Ambipom. And we're going to go for the fake out. Um, and like I said in my prediction video, it's pretty important to determine your win condition. Here, I have to keep Ambipom alive. That is the only way that I can win at anything here. So he's going to protect, which is fine. I need him to waste turns on uh, getting tuck or getting poisoned here, basically. Uh, let's see. His Reflect War Off, which is fantastic. Now I can definitely finish him off. So we're going to go ahead and switch out one more time. And we're going to go out into... Let's see. He has Darkrai, Arceus. See, and without knowing with which Arceus he has, it's kind of hard to know who to preserve. I would like to set up Stealth Rocks at some point with my Torterra, but I don't see that happening, really. Let's just go out into you know, the Sacrifice, someone else. Let's go on out into Electivire. All right, let's try this. Because he's just going to go for the Flare Blitz, most likely. So This will rack up enough recoil where he, hopefully he'll die. I don't think he'll go for High Jump Kick. That's kind of risky. He can miss. Okay, good. All right, Terabyte. Sorry I had to sacrifice you, buddy. Electivire is definitely my favorite electric Pokemon, which I like because of that nice little green lining where I can say that Zapdos is my favorite flying Pokemon. Ah, uh, dual typing. Because they're both electric types. But that's okay. Mega Blaziken is down. Um, this allows me to go out into, uh, let's just go on out into Torterra right now. On the off chance I get the chance to set up Stealth Rocks. Uh, if not, I am max attack. I can hit something pretty hard. Hopefully he won't go out into Dark Ride. That would kind of suck. Uh, okay, it's Arceus or Arceus. Arceus. Oh, it's normal form. Okay, is it defensive? I'm not sure what it has if it's normal form. My normal form, Arceus not have any um it has oh oh this is extreme killer okay well damn good thing i poisoned it i don't think he can kill me in any one hit i'm gonna go and get a stealth rocks here and then i can hurt him pretty severely actually now that the reflect is down uh him having stealth rocks up on my side is kind of annoying but let's go i really wish i had to protect on this thing i do have synthesis which is pretty nice um but we're definitely just gonna go ahead and go for the earthquake I could go for a wood hammer, but there's no point in doing that. I need to get damage on him while keeping as much life as I possibly can. Um, he's going to go for the extreme speed. This is not going to KO just because of Torterra's amazing nice defense. And I'm going to get off some great damage with Earthquake, which should put him in range to be KO. No, no, not at all, actually. Damn. Maybe I should have sent this there. Um, I don't have anyone to switch into extreme speed. Damn it all, damn it all. I mean, darn it all, darn it all. You're not supposed to curse kids and adults. Unless you slam your hand in a car door, then say, damn it. Or you'll probably say shit, actually, if you slam your hand in a car door. Explicit language. Warning. There is some explicit language there. Um, I'm going to lose another Pokemon here. <sighs> Man. Yep. Sorry, Torterra. Just in case he does anything weird, I'm going to go for synthesis. Okay, he just went for the extreme speed again. I think he's in range to be KO'd by Fake Out now, though, so that's that's a thing. <sighs> boy, oh boy, oh boy. I really wish I had gotten up the second layer of spikes, or toxic spikes. That would have made this battle significantly easier. Oh well. If that's what it is, then it is what it is. It's time to go out and then. KO him. Hopefully. I don't know. I don't see this finishing him off, actually. Arceus is too darn bulky. His defense and HP is too darn high. Every one of his stats is base 120. There's a reason he is the creation Pokemon. Okay, come on, fake out. Put him in range for the poison to kill him, please. Oh, no! No! 
He still has enough HP. See, if I had Toxic up, he would have died. He would have died. Darn. Darn, diggity darn. Now I gotta sacrifice something else. Um... Amy Palm is not faster than Darkrai. I, I... Damn it. This battle... Now I know how Ash felt when he was battling. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have seen the ending of the... What was that? I think that was the end of the Sinnoh arc. Where Ash had to battle against Paul and he... And then he had that battle, and then he had to go against the guy who had the Latios and the Darkrai, and his entire team just got pushed in like a like a banana cream pie. Yeah, that was pretty damn funny. Although it was really crappy for them to do that to him when he'd actually gotten so good at being a battler. I don't know why they did that to him. But you know, whatever. Um, I see Drapion being able to live one of these extreme speeds just because I am defensive, but then he'll just be able to bring in something else. So, I don't know that it'll matter. Here's the extreme speed. One, two, three, four, five. I think that was four hits. Oh, good job, Drapion. You continue to be my third favorite Pokemon. That's right. Venusaur, Kabutops, Drapion. Top three favorite Pokemon right there, folks. Still not enough to KO? Damn it all. Why can't I catch a break with that shit? <sighs> sigh, this sigh. Oh, well. In case he does anything weird, I'm going to try to set up that other layer. And now I'm down to two Pokemon, meanwhile I have only KO'd two of his Pokemon, which is just freaking grand, grand-tastic, grand mammers. Ah, uh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Oh well. Ha! Take that, Arceus. I'm gonna take you down. I'm gonna take you down and put your ass in the ground. Just like Castlevania. Go wing down to Castlevania, test me, and I'll tear you apart. Alright, sure. Okay, Deoxys is coming out now. I should have just went on to Amy Palm. I thought for sure he was going to go out into Darkrai, but you know, whatever. Uh, he can't do anything to me. He's probably just going to taunt me. I would imagine. Oh no, he's going to set up a screen. Damn it all. Definitely should have just gone on to uh, Amy Palm. Oh well, I can KO with Gastron at least. Gastron, you scald. I imagine he's just going to set up a screen. He could taunt me, but that wouldn't make a lot of sense. Just set up Reflect. You know you want to. What's taking you so long? For once, I'm not the one taking so long. It's a good thing that there's a timer. I really like this microphone. I feel like it gives me a lot of dominion around my sound and the way that I am. Ah, he did taunt me. Bye now. I, I thought he might do that, but I didn't know if he would do that. That didn't make any damn sense. <laughs> yeah. Woo! I got rid of three of this Pokemon. This is going to be one of those battles that's an extreme moral victory. Where it's like, how non-poorly can I do? How how many things can I get rid of with using my non-legendary fortune only team? And I put the limiters on this team myself where I didn't want to use any legendaries. And I didn't want to... Um, use any Megas either because in 4th gen you know you could use Mega Lucario and I didn't want to do that now here is Latios which does not get affected by the toxic I don't think he can white KO me unless he has energy ball so we're gonna toxic here oh I'm taunted right that's a thing um I guess Scald would get some damage I need to get damage on it and I need to burn him that's what I need to do he has to be in range for me to KO him with the, or he gets a crit. Really? He doesn't have enough stuff on his side of the field that he gets a crit. Come on now, game. Don't do that to me. It ain't nice. I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's not nice. <sighs> lay sigh, lay sigh. All right. Well, I get to fake him out here, at least. And I'm pretty sure Latios is faster than Ambipom, right? Ambipom is base, what, 115 speed? I think Latios is base 130 speed. So I believe that this battle is over unless I got a crit right there. Or if he's running modest, then I'll outspeed him. But otherwise, I believe we are done here. But guys, you need a team. You're like, oh, snap, I'm faster. Bitch, get molly whopped. <laughs> yeah. They're moral victories, though. Them moral victories. It would be great if I swept his team with last resort from here on out, but that's not going to happen. Xerneas is too freaking bulky. I need a crit here. I need a crit. I need him to miss Moonblast. I need, I need freaking Excelsior 
to just come down and and rend his whatever he, attack he does in twain so that it just scatters into the stars creating planets and 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 legends for years to come that's what i need all right last resort one more time cut my life into pieces oh so close so close Amy palm Amy palm you sir are are just awesome look at how much damage you did to that xerneas that was fantastic well zero that was a fun match i kind of came in a little on the back foot but i think i did pretty freaking well because the deoxys was basically dead actually uh if i had ko the xerneas deoxys didn't have an attacking move all he had was screens um taunt and stealth rock so that was actually a pretty good match. Um, let's see if I can get one more, hopefully against uh, Chewy this time. But thank you for that battle. Awesome, that was... I'm gonna go ahead and save it just in case. You never know what's going to happen with technology these days. All right, saving, 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 saving. Hooray, done. All right, I should probably stop the recording. <laughs>